This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, GME was red yesterday along with the market. But does the market have a direct effect on GME shares? In my opinion, no, it does not. No, it does not. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME shares. That's not what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you, just like AMC, these criminals have a, 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 a stronghold on the price of GME. They push it up and down. They can't push it down as much as they can AMC because of so many, in, in my opinion, because of the DRS shares and because they don't have a, a CEO like Adam Aaron running the company. Okay, so they don't have as much control as they have over AMC. But that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Anyway, here are the numbers for AM for GME yesterday. Uh, three million one hundred and nineteen thousand four hundred eighty-five shares for the volume. But we both, we all know that volume means absolutely nothing because we have no idea what's really going on in the dog pools and the other platforms where they're doing their nonsense. Okay, and forty-nine point oh four percent of the shares are allegedly DRS. That makes absolutely no sense to me. I believe the numbers are a whole lot higher, but of course they control the data and they control the narrative. But we have to analyze it and come to our own conclusions. And in my opinion, there's no way the DRS shares of AMC are only, I mean GME is only 49.04%. I believe it's a whole lot higher. Anyway, calls in the money, 10724 and at twenty dollars, we'll have additional thirteen thousand four hundred and forty-one shares. Um, you guys know, you guys know by now, the call options mean absolutely nothing. They kind of control the price. They move it up, they move it down to keep your, to keep the premium money. I mean, that's really the bottom line, to keep the premium money. They'll push it over fifteen, and then by Friday. It'll probably be under 14 again, and everybody who bought $15 calls would just have lost their money. But I believe when their liquidity runs out, or maybe 20 years from now when the SEC decides to do their job, then maybe, maybe, maybe GME will start to run. Okay? But 64% of the volume was shorted shares. So about two million of the volume was shorted shares, but there's no source. These shares don't originate anywhere. There's no blue sheets. There's no chain of custody. They just create these shares out of thin air. It's like a a, a, a David Copperfield magic trick. And as soon as liquidity runs out, and I see it running out very soon because the banks are in trouble. The banks are in trouble. And when the liquidity runs out, they are going to have some real issues. And 17.6 days to cover their counterfeit GME shorts is down a little bit from yesterday, but, well, not yesterday, from the day before. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All the data that we receive is like self-reported data. So they're not really going to give us the information we need to make intelligent investment choices. They control that narrative. And as long as we know that, we adjust our trading accordingly. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the days to cover for GME went down because they <laughs> because they actually covered some of their GME shorts yesterday? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.